Hey dolls, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, I'm Jalen Day. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, as y'all can see in the title, I will be showing y'all how I achieve this look. This is my favorite everyday go-to makeup look. This look is super easy. So if you're interested in learning how to do this look, then make sure you keep on watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get straight into the video. I'm just going to do like an everyday makeup look. Just something very simple and easy. I'm actually about to go to like a brunch, but the brunch is going to be outside. So if you don't know, um, this Texas heat do not be playing. I do not want like a lot of cakey makeup on my face. Y'all probably can see here that I have a like a scratch. Me and my dog was fighting. No, I'm playing. Me and my dog was just playing and she accidentally scratched me in my nose. She won that fight. And also, please ignore my nails. I'm getting them done next week. I know they is like looking a mess. So yeah, y'all know how it is. So I'm about to start off with my eyebrows. If you're new here, my eyebrows are micro shaded. So that's why they kind of look filled in already. Which usually when I do this face, I don't really do my eyebrows, but today I'm just gonna fill them in a little bit. Right now I'm just using this clear um, mascara from e.l.f. and just kind of brushing up my hairs. Y'all know for that like, you know, brushed out eyebrow look. You can't really see it on mine, but I still like to do it anyway. So I usually will use my Revlon Colorstay eyebrow pencil, but it is gone. So today I'm just gonna use this Wet n Wild. I think I got this from the beauty supply. I'm just gonna use that to just fill in some of my brows today. But normally I will use the Colorstay. I need to go get some more of that. But yeah, I just kind of fill in the back of my eyebrows. I kind of keep the front light, and then I just brush everything out. Now I'm going to conceal my eyebrows. I'm using the Milani Concealer in 170. Sometimes I will use the 165, but I also had to get some more of that. It's actually on the way. Because the Ulta and all the stores that have it, haven't been having the 165, which is deep tan, I believe. Whatever color is 165, that's what I uh, usually like to use. But I do like 170, it is kind of close. For this look, I don't really want, you know, that very highlighted brow look. I wanna keep it as natural as possible, so yeah. And I'm just using like a little flat brush. My brush is looking kind of crazy because I had it like smashed under my makeup kit and it kind of messed it up. So I have to put it back in shape. So I'm just gonna blend the concealer in with my damp beauty blender. I got this one from Real Techniques. I love Real Technique beauty blenders. If you have any other suggestions for uh, beauty blenders, let me know. I like mine to be soft, not hard. Like I came across some that was like really hard and I didn't like that. So yeah. I don't know where else to get them from other than uh, Real Techniques. I'm gonna add some eyeshadow. So I'm gonna put some more concealer down on my eyelids cause it wasn't that much. I'm just gonna do like a nude eyeshadow to keep it, you know, natural. Before I do that, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills setting powder. This is in Deep Peach. <sighs> it's my favorite setting powder, like y'all, I love. And I'm just gonna put that on my eyelids. So when I put on my eyeshadow, it has a nice base. So now that my eyelids are set, I'm actually about to go in with my Morphe Trailblazer palette for my eyeshadow. I love this color, y'all. It's so cute. It's just that perfect like nude. Y'all can see how it's very like subtle and neutral and like not doing too much. So next I'm just going in with my e.l.f. liner. I'm just gonna do a very small line I love lining my eye because I just feel like it makes my lashes pop a little more. So I never skip this step ever. Unless I have um, eyelash extensions in because I don't like to put anything on my eyelash extensions. So now we're done with the eyes. Let's move on to the face. So I'm going in with my e.l.f. primer, e.l.f. power grip primer. So I'm just gonna let this sit for like 30 seconds or so. And next I'm going in with my NARS foundation. I talk about NARS foundation a lot. I love NARS foundation. I've tried all their different types of foundations and I've just been in love ever since. I was actually trying to get another one of these, which is the Sheer Glow Foundation. I was asking a lady questions. She was telling me the differences between them, like what was for like a full coverage, what was just for like a light coverage, what gave off more natural and things like that. And then I told her I want something that's kind of like natural and light. And she suggested this one to me. 
and this is very light. It doesn't go on as thick as my sheer glow. So yeah, when I don't want a full face, I do use this one. It's still that full coverage, but it's very light on the face. It's not heavy at all. So now that it's on, see how it kind of just, it gives you like a glow, it still kind of looks like skin. If you do try this foundation, you would definitely feel on your face the difference between, you know, like a heavier foundation. Even when I'm out in the heat and sweating, my makeup doesn't feel heavy at all. Like I still feel put together. Y'all ever had like a full beat, like full, 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 full beat and went outside? It literally feels like your face is melting off. Like I've had that happen before and I do not like that. <laughs> okay, let's go on to the concealer. I am using the NARS concealer in color caramel and I will have everything listed in the description, the products and what color I use on me. So I just go in with a little bit of concealer in the areas that I want highlighted. I do not let this sit for too long because I don't like it um, like super dry. I still kind of like it damp, so it's easier to blend. So after that, I go back to that Morphe bronzer palette. I'm gonna go in with my contour with this instead of using the creams. I wanna use less like creams and stuff and more powders. So I'm just gonna go in and contour the areas that I want contoured. And then I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia and set the places that I concealed. I was actually supposed to do that before I did the contour. So let me go ahead and do that to set my concealer. And so y'all should be able to see that things are looking a little more matte. And I'm gonna go back with that contour. Today I want to add a little blush, so I'm going to use my James Charles. This is what my makeup artist used to always use. She would mix these two colors and put it as my blush, and I've been in love ever since. I went to go buy the whole palette, okay? I'm going to go on with my Fenty Beauty in the Hustler Baby, and I'm just going to put a little highlight just to give the girls a little bang, okay? And then I'm just going to kind of go in with the end of my beauty blender and kind of blend everything together. And boom, that's it. Sometimes I wear lashes, sometimes I don't. Today I'm gonna wear lashes. And then I'm gonna show y'all my lip combo that I'm gonna do. The lashes are on. I didn't go dramatic with the lashes this time. This is my keeping it simple. But y'all, I love these lashes. I actually got these lashes from a hair company. They sent the care package. And sometimes they add lashes in there. I gave these a try and I love these. These are so cute. For the lips, I was thinking about just doing lip gloss, but I don't know. I kind of want to add my liner, so I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place liner in the color Cola. This is my favorite lip liner along with the MAC Chestnut liner. My MAC liner, I actually lost, I can't find it. It's somewhere here, but I just can't find it. Another one that kind of gives me that same vibe is the Judas Place, and I love how it just glides on the lip. I just pat that in a little bit, and then I'm just gonna go in with a clear lip gloss that I got from the Beauty Supply. 
I wasn't just feeling the lip gloss so much because when I uh, rubbed it in, it kind of made the lips darker. So it's just giving like a brown lip. I don't really want like a brown lip today. If I just wanted to do the gloss, I should have just did that with no liner on my lips. So since I want to do the liner, I'm gonna just go in with my regular lip combo. It's the liner still. And then I'm gonna go with my NYX in the color um, Baby Doll and put that for the base of my lips. And y'all see how it kind of brightens the lip a little bit. And then I'm gonna go over this with lip gloss. I do wanna try like other lip combos just to switch up what I'm doing. But for a while now, this has been my lip combo liner, the NYX and some clear gloss. Or I will use some pink gloss, it kind of turns out the same. So now we're done and I'm gonna spray my face and I'm going in with the NYX matte finish. And this is the final look. Period. Y'all, I'm loving this brown hair on me. It's so cute. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm on the road to 100K. So if you're not a doll and want to become one, all you have to do is push that subscribe button and you are officially a doll. If y'all have any more videos that y'all would like to see from me, make sure that you write that in the description so I can try to make that happen for you. That is it for this video and I will see y'all in the next video.